What is up guys? If you want to know how to install the Resilience Hacked Client, stay tuned. Hey guys, what is up? Matt Gamer here today and I have another hack client video for you today. So this is the Resilience Hack Client by Crisp and down here tells you all the about all that nonsense but I'm just here to teach you how to install it what you do inside that is up to you as I say every single video so this link is provided for you in the description so just click that and follow along hit the download button first once you go to that page sorry my team speaks open you'll be directed to an ad fly once you click that download button you want to hit the skip ad and then you'll be directed to the resilience page and then you want to hit download again it'll count down right here then you want to skip add once more and then you want to hit the newer version up top here and keep in mind this is for Mac guys Mac 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 it'll count down again bring you to another ad fly hit skip add again and it'll bring you to a mega now you can use Safari or you can use Chrome. Chrome works a lot better with this. I just like my Safari. So we're going to do the download to your computer and the download should start with this mega. Almost done. Stalin. I'll go in a second. Okay. Once it's done, it this will pop up, and you want to hit save your file, and this is like just asking where you want to save it to. So here we go, resilience. Just put it to your desktop. So there it is, right there. Now what you can do is just totally close out of this whole thing. You can just close off the browser once you have the zip file, of course. You want to double click the zip file, and it'll give you resilience in a folder and then you want to double click into resilience because the resilience real folder is inside of here so you want to drag out the real folder don't miss this step guys and put in this whole folder into the thing take there was a full this resilience folder was inside this one you do not want to stick this whole thing in there because it'll get confused because it's got two folders in one and it has this dot jar file that's there for no reason all the folder needs is a dot jar and dot json file i've said that in so many videos if it just has that those two and you're putting it into the folder you should have no issues but if you put this whole folder in then you should have some issues so make sure you have the folder just called plain old resilience and now you can remove this 1.2.5 folder make sure again dot jar and dot json file nothing else now you're gonna do a, com a command that I tell you every video command shift G and you got the squiggly I still forgot the name you guys put it in the comments every single time and I forgot the name so just to humor me put it in the comments again because I'm gonna try and say it in one of my videos that you could copy and paste this this will be in the section below the description and you just hit go and that'll direct you right to the library that I do and I tell you guys that command you guys ask me why do you tell that me why do you always say that command I do that command because my computer got messed up in the fact where my minecraft applications like I can't get to minecraft uh, folder other than just doing that because if I try and look for it anywhere else it won't pop up for me so that's why I end up doing it guys since you're curious so you go to application support from there and then you find minecraft in here and there's Minecraft. And you got all these cool folders here, but you're looking for the versions. Found the versions, stick in resilience. There it is, popped on in. Now you can get rid of this .zip file once you just heard that little thing uh, when you uh, put it in the little folder there. So you want to pop open Minecraft here. Once this comes on up here, and you want to hit edit profile, and you want to go to use version, and you want to look in here, and you want to find release resilience. Release resilience, save the profile, and hit play. It should take a little bit here, as all hacked clients usually do.
it'll come on up here. And here's your resilience, guys. So, um, I don't know what any of this stuff is, but just uh, hit done, I guess. And here's your resilience. And I don't even know how this works at all because I really do not, I honestly do not use hack clients at all. But this is resilience. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Um, uh, more tutorials like that coming. Leave leave comments below if you need help installing something, anything, and I will do it for you guys. I promise. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as uh, later. Hey guys, what's up? It's Mac Gamer. Yeah, I know I should have left, and you guys should have been presented with my outro. But I had something somewhat exciting for you guys. For those of you who cannot come in contact with me. Now, I know I tell you guys to Skype me at whatever, but I'm never on my Skype. And it's too hard to keep up with every each and every one of you. And I don't know who's a subscriber and who's not. So, I'm going to do this for you. This is going to be a huge thing for my channel. So, um, I'm going to put this at the very end of the video to a big channel uh, update. Um... But, so, what you want to do is, there, well, not what you want to do, but I'm on this thing called TeamSpeak, and if you've heard of TeamSpeak, then good, you don't have to listen to me, you just have to wait for the IP that I'm giving you at the end. If you haven't heard of TeamSpeak, it is pretty much a huge channel, it's a huge channel that you can just, a bunch of channels and you can switch into and people just talk in them pretty much. So it's like Skype, but it's like a Skype channel. And it holds multiple people. Each channel just holds multiple people. And there's servers and stuff. All that matters, it, you can figure it out once you download it. It's very simple. But what the main purpose of this is, is there's this one TeamSpeak that I'm always on. And I just was talking to a friend. And I'm like, this TeamSpeak is dead. And then that's when it occurred to me that my subscribers could just hop on that TeamSpeak and just have fun and talk amongst each other, and then ask me for any help whenever I'm on. Because I'm literally on that team speak so much that I could help you guys out. And I would, I seriously, this is like kind of a breakthrough for my channel. I would hope you guys go on that team speak. So team speak download will be below. Just follow all the instructions. This is for Mac. If you, I'm sorry if you don't know how to install it for Windows because I honestly don't. But if you have it on Windows and you like my channel, then go ahead and type in the IP, and I guess we'll see each other sometime. All right, thanks for this uh, listening to this channel update. If you clicked off the video before now, I feel sad for you because now you won't get your questions answered. But I get so many questions asking, how do I do this? How do I do that? So here we go. Um, I'm helping you guys out right now. I'll see you guys later. <laughs>